Hey, Dr. Brad here. Gorgeous morning. Absolutely stunning. I was working with a client yesterday who was dating a girl for a couple months and then she started to gradually ghost him. And he was pretty hurt by it because they had a lot of chemistry. And one of the things we were talking about is just how difficult dating can be because in a month or two, you don't really know who someone is. You know, he felt like, you know, they had some real chemistry, which is rare, you know, in dating, often you can go months or even years without meeting someone with chemistry. But when you're dealing with somebody that you don't know well, you really don't know what the situation is. And the only thing that you can really do successfully in situations like that is communicate, which she tried to do and she had no interest. She really just blew him off. And then, of course, when that doesn't work, start the process of letting go. And, of course, it's going to sting. You know, we talked about that. This one stings because it had been so long since he met somebody with chemistry. But, you know, strangers have issues, right? All, almost everybody has some kind of issue, right? In dating, you're going to bump into that. Now, what could it be? Did an ex-boyfriend come back from the past? Um, does she have intimacy issues or fear of getting close? That's kind of what we arrived at the possibility of because her mom's an alcoholic and she had a rough childhood and, you know, relationships are not easy for her. So maybe, you know, maybe they started to get a little bit close and she got scared. That's always a possibility when you're dealing with somebody you don't know. It's also a possibility when you're dealing with somebody you do know. You know, people struggle with intimacy. A video that we're gonna do in the future here on emotional intimacy, just how challenging it is for most people. So anyway, when a situation like this occurs, you know, it stings, it's gonna hurt a little bit, but we wanna start the process of letting go because that's the only really successful way to live, right? Is to not, you know, get yourself too hung up on somebody who for whatever reason can't meet you halfway or meet your needs in particular. Hey, I'm Dr. Brett, have a wonderful day.